Welcome back to Vlogmas. Today is a completely different video. I know some of you don't drink alcohol, but everyone in this house does. So we are making some Christmas cocktails tonight. Adam and Sherry are still here. We're still doing some festive holiday things with them. And so I have a countertop full of recipes and materials and liquids and cups. And we are going to be making several different holiday cocktails. None of these are batch drinks. A lot of drinks during the holidays are like batch drinks, make it in a punch bowl, put it in a, like a pitcher in the fridge. And these are drinks you can make for one or two people at like one at a time. You can make all of these, you can make none of these. I've got a couple of shots I'm gonna make two. Let's get started. The first recipe we're gonna be starting with is a shot. We've got some fire whiskey. You could use fireball, but we found something that tastes better and doesn't have formaldehyde in it. Rum chata, and then we found like cinnamon eggnog. I have a jigger slash pony. The jigger is the big side. The pony is the small side if you want a smaller drink. Like I'm gonna make right now, I'm going to use the pony side and it is a one to one ratio for all of these. So one part whiskey, one part rum chata, one part eggnog. Rather than shaking this, I'm just going to mix it by pouring it from one cup back into the other. And that one is done. Cheers. All right, I'm gonna give it a try. Oh, I like that. That's smooth and cinnamony. That's Cinnamon good. Cinnamony. <laughs> cinnamony. That's good. Next, we're gonna make some champagne cocktails. These are some of my favorites just because they're really easy to drink and they're really easy to make and you don't need any tools. You could drink champagne by itself. You could put juice with it. You could put cranberry juice with it. You could do orange juice and have a mimosa. I think it's really fun to do like a fruit liqueur in the bottom because it makes it really pretty. And I've got two different ones here. We're gonna try a couple of different flavors. So we've got Chambord, which is raspberry, and we've got creme de cassis, which is elderberry. Like I said, I don't measure it. I just put some in the bottom of the glass, and then we will top with the champagne. Do some taste testing. Who wants to try? What do we got? Shampoo. Oh, that's really good. And it makes bad champagne taste better. It's still really easy to make. And there's the creme de cassis. That one's tasty too. This is smooth. I like that one better. Yeah. This has like a hint of vanilla. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Good. Next we have three drinks that I actually have recipes for. I have not made these three drinks before, but the first one is called an eggnog martini and I'm really excited about it. So I've got a shaker full of ice and I'm gonna start with vanilla vodka. This one needs an ounce and a half of vanilla vodka and a jigger is an ounce and a half. And the pony is half of that, so it's 0.75 ounces. So we're gonna start with a jigger of vanilla vodka. Next goes some amaretto and just one ounce, but this is not the bottle you will find at your local liquor store because my mom actually makes amaretto. So this is homemade amaretto and I'm gonna do not quite a whole jigger because I only need one ounce. And then I need two ounces of eggnog and for this recipe I'm just using the regular plain old eggnog, not the cinnamon eggnog we saw earlier. On goes the lid, and then we're gonna shake. And since I don't believe that eggnog from the store has enough nutmeg in it, I'm gonna top with a little bit of nutmeg and then this one's done.
pretty. And I'm gonna try this one. <laughs> okay, that's really, really good. I wouldn't have thought to put amaretto in eggnog, but that's really, really good. The next drink is called the Merry Christmas Cocktail, and it has gin in it, and I, again, have not made this one before. I'm hoping that I like this one because it has gin in it, and I'm kind of questioning whether or not it's going to be any good, but we're going to try it anyway. So I'm starting with a glass filled with ice. I have a different measuring tool this time because I need ounces, so I'm going to start with one ounce of gin. Next goes one ounce of cranberry juice. And then I need a teaspoon of lemon juice. I'm just gonna squeeze part of a lemon into here. I'm just gonna top it with some lime sparkling water. It's really pretty. There's, yeah, there, it's fine. There's really nothing sweet in there. So it's refreshing and juicy, but it, the gin isn't awful. I'm <laughs> big I smell a Christmas tree. I taste the Christmas tree. I like it. So I just had a drink. I'm gonna have another one because I am a gin fan. I love gin. I love the taste of juniper berries. I agree with Sarah. To me, it's a Christmas tree. So gin is like a winter and Christmas drink. Um, if this was on the menu at a bar as a holiday drink, I would order this. I, as a gin fan, love this. And the gin isn't like super forward. The first thing I get is the cranberry and then that juniper at the end. I think it's great. All right, this is our last full drink. It's called the Angel's Delight Cocktail. And this one has, the recipe calls for gin. I am using this Absolute Juice Vodka instead because I think this will be perfect in this. So I need three quarters of an ounce of this Absolute Juice. Then three quarters of an ounce of triple sec. This calls for one ounce of cream. And then a couple of dashes of grenadine. I think this is mostly for color. Then we shake. Looks like strawberry milk. It looks like strawberry milk. And it tastes like strawberry milk. You want to come try this one? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's awful. awful that. <laughs> that's awful. Good. That's really good. It's strawberry milk. It's strawberry milk with alcohol. It's so <laughs> good. Really good. I really like that. We've got another winner. Moving on to our very last drink, which is basically a shot. So I've got cocktail shaker of ice. This is mint flavored vodka. And over here I've got some white Godiva. You could use any white chocolate liqueur and then some cream mint syrup. So if you've made a grasshopper before, this is gonna be pretty similar, but a little bit different, but similar flavor profiles. I'm gonna use a one-to-one -one ratio. So one part, one part, one part. And now we're gonna shake. say a huge thank you to Adam for being my cameraman during the filming of this video. Thank you very much for helping welcome. me. Cheers. It's 
so good. It's like a white chocolate grasshopper. Mm -hmm. It's delicious. And it's green. Mm -hmm. It's perfect for the holidays. I agree. So that is going to be it for today's vlogmas video. I hope you enjoyed watching me make a bunch of cocktails for everybody to try. I think if I had to pick a favorite, it would probably be the champagne cocktail because it's so easy and easy to drink. And now we have an open bottle of champagne that we need to finish. But we did whiskey, we did champagne, we did gin, we did vodka, we did another vodka. We did not do rum. So rum, I think, goes really well with eggnog. A lot of people will do rum instead of whiskey with eggnog recipes. If you guys have any holiday cocktail recipes that you really enjoy, I would love to hear what it is, share it with me, and let me know if you guys make these. I'm really curious if you would drink any of them. A couple of them surprised us. The Angel's Delight really surprised me. It tasted just like strawberry milk with that strawberry juice vodka. So good. And I'm actually surprised I liked all of them. I did like all of them, so that is going to be it for today's vlogmas video. You guys will see me tomorrow in the next one.